give him kisses. So then you can speak to him. But, but, but he has fur. So? But I just, I don't give him, him kisses on the nose. Okay, give him a kiss on the nose. But I can see where his nose is. Well, go on my feet. Around your feet? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a little fruit down. No, just give him a kiss on the nose. This is my family. They sleep in a pile. Don't suffocate them. Just lay your head by them. Hey, tell me what you want for Christmas. I want a pair of sunglasses. That's it? Yeah. You don't want anything else? I, I think I do want something else. Okay, well what? Um, I, I saw some hair stuff from my, from my Danny Marta. You want what? I saw hair stuff at Walmart. You want hair stuff for your doll? Yeah. Huh. You're pretty girly. Yeah. wonder where you get it from. Cause you do hair. So? So? Like, I didn't teach her any like of Like mother, like daughter. It's in her blood. It's in her blood. What else do you want? Anything else? Um, I think I want, um, um, I want, um, jingle bells. You want some jingle bells for Christmas? Alright. All that I want. That's all that you want? Yeah. Okay, so, to recap, she wants some sunglasses. Some jingle bells and hair stuff for her dolls. I think Santa's gonna be happy with that. <laughs> Alright you guys, um, I've been meaning to talk about this for a little while and I just forget all the time, but I remembered now. Um, for Christmas this year, as you know, Claire has shared with us her list, which is not very difficult to um, accommodate for our lovely Claire Bear, but um, for Christmas this year, and hopefully for every other year, as long as we have kids in the house, I'm going to try and do something that I have heard other people do, and maybe you guys have done it, or maybe you've read about it, but this is what we're going to do. We are going to do three presents only every year, and it's going to be something you want, something you need, and then something to read, and then we also talked about how, like, They'll still get stockings, and that can be, like, from Santa, and, you know, like, they could get PJs or whatever um, from Santa the night before or whatever, and then we don't have it set up this year, but last year we have a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but my mom gave me this 25 Days of Christ thing, and it's little ornaments that you put on the tree or something you put around the tree, and each day has like a story or something that talks about Christ and why that's so important this time of year. But anyways, I'm trying to keep it not simple, but I want like the true meaning of Christmas to kind of like be really prominent for our kids instead of just being like, here's my list and they have like 50 million things on it. So that's why I'm going to try the something you want, the something you need and something to read. And Zach and I have talked about this a couple times because I thought like, well, maybe that's mean, maybe that's rude, you know, and Zach was like, but, you know, like something they want could be something like fairly expensive, you know, or like they want a new bike or it just I can't think of anything else off the top of my head other than a bike because I'm thinking like as far as like younger kids go, but when they're older, I'm sure there will be other things that they want and other things that they absolutely need. And then also, um, 
we've talked about this in other videos as well, but I grew up loving books. I got books for Christmas and my birthday from my grandparents, and that was like the only thing that I got from them. But because of that, I have so many books from them, and I love reading books, and I love looking at them, and I love how they look on a bookshelf in a room. And so I really want my kids to love reading. I want them to like be really inquisitive and want to have knowledge, basically. Um, and so that was the one thing that kind of stood out to me was that they included something to read and I know that when I was like a teenager or whatever reading like a series of books was like I loved to do that I wasn't as hardcore as like my siblings were my brother and my sister were a lot more um, diligent with their reading um, but I do love reading and um, I know that if I had those options, you know, I probably could have asked for like a series of books or something. But anyways, um, what do you think about that? Do you think that's good? Do you think it's okay to start this young Claire's three? And she kind of gets the idea of Christmas last year, not so much, but this year, I really think that she does. And we're gonna try and take her to see Santa somewhere in Louisville. Hopefully we can find like a mall or something that's doing meet Santa or I don't even know. Anyways. In the comments below, seriously, I really, really want to know what you think about that idea of doing three gifts, something you want, something you need, something to read, and then also a stocking uh, full of little things. So let me know. I really want to know. Or if you have a better idea, tell me. I really am interested. I really, really do want to know. So down below, let me know.